Hi, I'm Unique Model, aka Shantae Renee Pink for Positivity, and this is a channel for love and healing. I want you to know that love begins with you. Be the love you want to see manifest in your life and it will come. And this is my read my book with me if you please my ultimate act of vulnerability, which is my book um, that's available on Amazon KDP. And this is a series where I'm reading poems and letters that um, that I've written over the past two years. And we are now in chapter September 2020. And this letter is called I Can't. I can't reach out. Again, it hurts too much to be consistently rejected. I don't deserve this type of treatment. I'm not a bad person. I haven't fucked up so bad that I don't deserve to be treated like a human being. That has that has feelings. I'm done. God, please bring me someone that reciprocates my effort to be in a loving relationship. Thank you, and so it is. So, with this letter, this was to a particular person, but um, and this could go for any type of relationship. Um, if you keep putting your all in and you're not getting back what you believe you should receive or um, or at least the same effort. So rejection is real. Um, with me, it stems from childhood. So I'm learning that those cycles will keep coming back around um, and in different people is not even the same person all the time. It will keep coming around until you actually deal with that, um, that wound. Mine stems from childhood, um, starting with my father, but um, I'm realizing that it's not just my father, it's some other people um, that I felt rejection from. So until I am like totally healed from that, those situations will continue to come around because now it's manifesting in several other relationships I'm noticing and um, it's staring me at the face. You gotta get through it. You gotta heal it. If not, yeah, guess what? We're gonna keep showing up. Yeah, we're gonna keep, basically the universe is forcing me to deal with rejection of all types. So, um, you may notice something like that in your life. Um, people, situations, jobs, friendships, love relationships, um, family members. Yeah, that, that stuff will keep coming around until you fully heal and um, gotten through. My daughter and I got into an argument last week and both of us said some things that triggered <laughs> both of us and I said something, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to because I got mad that that was something she said to me so it came out wrong. We didn't go back and talk about it um, a few days later but the damage was already done because I started internalizing a lot of, a lot of the stuff and I noticed that um, I haven't been feeling well. So, when if you're not dealing with your issues, they will come out some sort of way, whether it's a burst of anger, um, actual physical illness, physical symptoms. Um, one that I'm having right now is a lot of anxiety, which I have not had anxiety like this in a long time and it's actually making me nauseous throughout the day um, to the point where like last night I threw up. So um, yeah, so if you want to heal the disease in your body, the disease in your mind, um, you have to deal with these wounds. It's like no other way around it. Um, I've been using essential oils, praying, um, trying to meditate is a little hard with kids running around um, all day, but um, I also noticed that I haven't been able to get out like I normally do and ground myself um, so that I can think clearly. Um, 
as I had before. So that's been a little issue um, as well. So that would be something that you have to look into. Um, finding what works. I even started, well, I didn't say I started, but I had one day where I did yoga <laughs> um, to try to ground myself. Um, and that actually did help a little bit, but I'm still having some issues. So um, I'm just giving you a couple things. I listened to some meditation music, um, binaural beats, um, some fregio, um tones um, to help. Um, sometimes you need to change the environment um, if possible. I know that's not always possible, but that's something that um, you can look into just to detach and get a break from the situation so you can hear your own thoughts and hear yourself think and also listen to what God has um, to tell you. And um, it's a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. You're a work in progress. Um, these are just things, tools um, that you can use. Um, if you feel you need medical attention, you can do that as well. Um, whatever works for you. And that is all that I have for you today. Sending you love and healing. I appreciate you. Make sure you appreciate yourself. Have a good day. Bye.